So one of the printables that you have um, in your packet, or maybe you picked it up when you picked up your materials, is just this sheet that we invite you to just print it out and um, put it on your table, fold it in half. And what it includes in it is just weekly reflections for the season of Advent. So as you light your Advent wreath and candle each weekend, it just tells you what the theme is for that week that you can focus on. And then um, just different daily reflections that you can take a gift of the Holy Spirit, discuss what that gift means and um, how you can act upon it. And then really just put that into action and then share with each other how that felt. And such a, this is just a great easy way for you to continue to review um, the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit on a daily basis. So now we're going to just wrap up our lesson on the Sacrament of Confirmation. And I thought it would be kind of fun to have you in our home and um, to think about what ways the Sacrament of Confirmation and the season of Advent and Christmas are similar. So let's think about the colors, Harrison. What are the colors of Christmas? Red, white, and blue. Okay. And what's the color, the color of the Sacrament of Confirmation? Red. red. So we have similarities there. And red in the fire of the Holy Spirit, and red in our ornaments, and our fireplaces, and our stockings. What's in the other color that you said? Green, green, right? So green we saw in the sprout, right, of our giant flower pot and the growth that happens when the spirit, the gifts of the Holy Spirit are planted on, in our heart and start to grow into fruit. Green, likewise, are the similar, is a similar color of Christmas that represents new life and growth, and we see that in our Christmas trees and in our Advent wreath. The season of Advent is really marked by uh, this theme of joyful anticipation and waiting. And much like the gifts of the Holy Spirit get planted in our hearts, they just don't bloom, right, and grow right away. It takes a little bit for them to be fertilized with our prayer, right, in uh, the way that we live our life. And then finally, what's the best part about Christmas when you're a kid? The presents, right? So we get gifts at Christmas just like we have the gifts of the Holy Spirit and then the, the fruits of the Holy Spirit that come forth from those gifts. So, so for That's not uh, gifts of communion. To all of us, to all of you, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. We hope you enjoyed your virtual lessons and we will see you in the new year. Oh.